with modern farming practices of, of bigger properties, more cropping, less labour, we're seeing more and more time pressures and applicators are up against it. It's pushing us into spraying in atmospheric conditions which are probably less than ideal. It's becoming increasingly important that we not only do the right thing, but we're being seen to do the right thing. And this network is going to now enable growers to actually do that in real time and help make them those informed decisions. The WAND network is 100 high calibre inversion towers spread across Emerald to the Victorian border. It's a network that will identify whether a hazardous inversion or hazardous conditions are present across that footprint, allowing farmers to really understand whether they can spray or not against their label requirements. To access the information, you can either download the app from the App Store under WAND or you can go to www.wand.com.au. It's free to register and sign up uh, and you just create an account and you can start to access the data straight away. So as well as providing real-time data that's being updated every 10 minutes, the other key feature of the network and of the science behind it is the newly developed Nowcast component. Nowcast is the ability to predict the absence or presence of a hazardous inversion occurring within the next two hours. So what this means is that for an applicator, as they're getting close to finishing their current tank load, they can use this information to help support their decision as to whether to go back, refill, continue spraying, or do they knock off until conditions have improved. The now casting component is of course being updated every 10 minutes, ensuring that you have the most current information when making these decisions. This reduces their risk of being caught with an unfinished spray load when a hazardous inversion is developed. Currently, the go-to method of detecting an inversion is actually just pure guesswork, which is a bit surprising when we spend millions of dollars on a piece of equipment, but we're still putting the finger up to kind of guess whether a temperature inversion exists. And we use clues to see if an inversion exists, like dust floating above the surface, or maybe there's fog. But those clues are all inadequate. And in fact, the clues may not ever appear, even when the hazardous inversion exists. Guesswork is out the door now. We have something specific. It's quantifiable. It's pretty exact and valuable. So the RDCs, Cotton and Grains RDC, uh, work closely together for six years, investing heavily in research around the definition of what a hazardous inversion is compared to what has historically been accepted in inversions. So that partnership was very strong. That when they were at the point where they could commercialise that intellectual property, Goanna Ag was introduced to that partnership and we got offered the opportunity to roll WAND out across the pilot footprint. Temperature inversions just rely on the vertical temperature difference with height. That's really basic information to have. But the fact is, temperature inversion is just a symptom of atmospheric stability. Now, stable conditions range from very near neutral, which is considered to be ideal spray conditions, to weakly stable, to extremely stable or very stable. So growers will be able to use this information and be confident that they're spraying in suitable conditions which are near neutral. And they'll also be confident that the system is taking them out of those dangerous type hazards inversion. That's when the atmosphere is very stable and the winds are laminar, very little turns around, which keeps the spray drift at high concentration. And that high concentration can go for many kilometres and it can spread over wide areas. Many of our herbicide labels now have statements on them about do not spray during hazardous temperature inversions. Up until now, there's been no way of accurately determining those conditions. With this network of towers and the ability to gain real-time data about the atmospheric conditions and the level of turbulence, now growers can actually use that as an advisory system to help support the decision making processes to ensure that they are complying with label requirements but even more importantly to ensure that they're maximising the efficacy and getting the spray job done in a timely manner.